Welcome to the future. No, your eyes don't deceive you. This is what tomorrow's gaming will look like. The next generation of virtual reality headsets from Oculus Rift being demoed at E3 in LA, and the punters are on board. It was amazing. It was a little bit complicated at first because you don't use your hands, you don't use, uh, you just use your eyes. It feels very immersive in terms of the visual effects. Sony and Microsoft were also showing off their new virtual reality accessories. Previous generations of so-called VR equipment have been clunky and promises of future progress seemed a long way off. But CNET senior editor Dan Ackerman thinks the future might finally be here. Sony has their Morpheus headset that should work with their PlayStation 4. Microsoft has the HoloLens, which is a very experimental thing. It's more augmented reality. And a company called Oculus is actually owned by Facebook. That's sort of the market leader. They were the first guys with like really workable hardware. That should finally be available to buy early next year. There are worries about how much these new entertainment sets will cost, but for those here, it's mainly excitement at the progress being made with the technology. This year's E3 runs until June 18. Para mí el trabajo de investigación siempre es interesante porque uno aprende mucho, aprende mucho sobre el, la persona que estás interpretando. So, y eso siempre es, es interesante para mí. I was, I, I was a story that uh, was told to me and it inspired me to write this film. I wasn't particularly in love with Pablo Escobar. It was just, uh, I thought that was a story like that could make an interesting thriller, a movie I would like to go and see at the movie theater. <laughs> Yeah.